January 2023's costs. In January, we had a cost of £253.38, and that includes the daily charge and the 5% VAT. We also got um, £57.83 back from Octopus Energy for the saving sessions, which gave us a balance of £195.55. That brought our average cost per kilowatt hour without solar of 11.5 pence. And we, including the solar, we had an um, average cost per kilowatt hour of 10.6 pence per kilowatt hour. But that excludes any of the um, Octopus campaign rewards. When you take that 10.6 pence per kilowatt hour, what that does, it shows us that we had a cost of £3.36 for our gaming and Xbox seen at the bottom here. Um, our car charging cost us £38.17. Our space heating cost £111 and a penny. Our cooking cost £6.52. Clothes cleaning, drying and washing, um, that cost us £5.35. Um, a water heating cost £2.35, but I think there is a bit of a discrepancy there. I've got my numbers wrong somewhere, but I'll look into that. Um, and the general home cost £60.26. And um, the grid export would have cost us £10. And our final summary up until the end of January 2023. We've not had any days grid free yet. Um, we've done 738 miles at a cost of £27. We've imported 2,191 kilowatt hours. We've had a solar contribution of 187.2 kilowatt hours. So that gives us a total kilowatt hour of 2,378.4. We don't have any gas anymore, so our total cost now for electricity only is £253.38. We've not had any fit payments yet. Our Octo Octopus Rewards is credited as £57.83, which has given us a balance up until the end of January 2023 of £195.55, and that includes any VAT and daily charges. As usual, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, please add it to the section below, and I'll leave you by the day-by-day um, bills from Octopus Energy on the Octopus Intelligent Tariff.